you think it would be accurate to describe this as maybe being similar in some ways or, or related to like, the PAP engine? Yes, uh, it's uh, historically the PAP um, was the grandfather of this. Uh, however, we've made several improvements. Uh, one, we don't use an, um, a radioactive element as a catalyst. Our catalyst uh, is very benign and very obtainable. Um, two, um, we have a different way of controlling it. Even though the methods are similar, uh, we have, of course, progressed to microelectronics and uh, can um, change the speed at with which the reaction starts and the way it's displayed on the piston so you can have variable speed um, more adequately. And um, of course, uh, by being miniaturized, it's... Uh, Oh, you guys have miniaturized the controllers. Controllers. So, right. so then, so the, the reaction chamber is is right in here, no, right? No, the reaction chamber is at top dead center of. The oh, oh, okay, piston. okay, okay. So this, so this is, this is your piston, and then these are these are uh, your exciters, right? You use this to excite the gas. Yes. Okay, and so so you, you have this. This is filled with a noble gas, mm -hmm. and then when the reaction happens, it forces the piston in here. So yeah. then this would be. The crankshaft. This is the case. crankshaft. Okay. Yes. Th that, that makes sense. So you have two we pistons. We didn't reinvent the wheel. We used uh, yeah. a Harley bottom end. Oh, it's it's a Harley. Okay. So this this is a highly highly modified Harley bottom end. Uh, not that much. About we detuned it by putting a smaller um, power shaft on it, um, and that's because we want this to be the demonstration of the technology, not one that is sold for purpose. That's left to the manufacturers that we license. Well, well let me ask you, now with this device, yes. um, when, you, when you run this, what kind of an RPM are you able to get with it? Well, uh, we found that the reaction uh, starts leaving residual heat at 50 hertz, at about 3,000 RPM. So we're limiting ourselves to 2,800 RPM on that which will be produced by the manufacturers. And of course, you can go up to 3,000 RPM safely, but that's your yellow line, uh, per se. There's no reason to do that because the torque band is so flat and so powerful that you can get as much energy out of it as you want to at the low RPMs. And that's very efficient for gear trains and that and so 3,000 rpm and with the one liter engine we're producing 800 foot-pounds of torque 800 foot-pounds of torque yes. is so substantial that's, so that's 450 horsepower if you run it that fast or 400 horse four, uh, four, this is limited so to this this is 274 this device is a 400 horsepower engine um, has the potential for that this one is down um, Restricted to 274 horsepower for, again, learning, demonstration uh, for the manufacturers so they can have a good hold on what makes it tick. Wow, that's, yes. that's and pretty remarkable. Even with this one, though, for demonstration purposes, we'll be able to put a generator set on the output shaft and run that at 205 kilowatts. That's 205. We're talking about things that um, the wind generators that are 30 feet tall and uh, 300 feet wide and things like that, um, they're producing 20 kilowatts. Yeah. This is 205 here with a potential of 300 and 350 out of 400 per uh, so well, and now you'd mentioned with the the original PAP engine using yes. a radioactive catalyst, yes. and, and uh, th I wonder if that might be related to some of the theories that that maybe uh, there's some kind of a, a new type of low energy nuclear reaction occurring that that's yes, um, and we don't know what it is, and until our manufacturers produce some so that we have built our, uh, our company big enough to do true R&D on it, we won't know. But somehow it destabilizes and decouples 
um, a subatomic event, and we think it has to do with two atoms of helium coming together and uh, allowing the strong, cohesive events that hold the, that nucleus together to blur and grow in a cloud. And as long as that cloud start, keeps on moving, either up or down, it puts out an energy that follows the direction of the field that it's in and wants to push. Ah, okay. Regardless of how far apart they are, it's like having a, a water hose and pushing a bucket, hydraulic bucket or turbine bucket, and this before you get away from it, it's still pushing the same amount. So that it's not a, an expansion from uh, it's, it's not like a gas expansion. No. Yeah. It's more similar to running steam at low RPM where you leave the steam open on a steam engine and allow it to push all the way down to the bottom of the, the stroke. That's a very inefficient way of doing things if you're using the energy just in the steam. Because you end up pushing out hot steam that still has energy. You'd rather just put in a little and let it expand. Uh, that's a more efficient way of doing things. But with this, what it doesn't use up when it goes down to the bottom is return to the atoms that are in the mix when it's turned off. So one has pretty close to 100% efficiency for the energy used, just minus the friction load of the mechanical portion here and what it takes to run the electronics. Oh, okay, okay. Now, um, so this is, now with the gas mixture, are you guys using helium in this? Or? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, no secret, uh, Pat uh, published the mixture he used and uh, we've tried other mixtures or four different mixtures that are out there. Um, we chose this one because it seems to be well suited for, for this. And because it was published, um, it's no secret somebody else can make it. Uh, our manufacturers can go to uh, Union Carbide or whoever produces uh, helium um, and get a good mix made for them or they can buy the lecture bottles and mix it themselves. We also have uh, Plasmerg also has a uh, setup to do that for our manufacturers so that they can have it on hand. Mm. Now, if, if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, it's it's PTP licensing, is that the... Yes, that's the, under Intelligentry. We're the people that are in charge of uh, licensing the product and making sure that people are trained on it so they can produce uh, production engine. Okay.